From WFRV TV Local 5, your local election headquarters. This is Newsmaker Sunday with your host, Tom Zelaski. Good morning. Welcome to Newsmaker Sunday. I'm Tom Zelaski. We continue our look at the candidates for mayor of Green Bay. And our next candidate, Paul Busher, a Green Bay native. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree, Sociology in UW-Madison, a lifelong resident of Green Bay. He has run for office before, seeking the office of Wisconsin State Treasurer and a spot on the Green Bay School Board, which he is currently doing as well. And Paul Busher joins us now for Newsmaker Sunday. Welcome, Paul. Thanks so much for being here. Tell us a bit more about yourself. Well, um, I'm, like you said, I'm from Green Bay. Uh, I went to East High School, and I, after, I went to college at UW-Madison, got a degree in sociology. Uh, I ran track, um, Big Ten meets, and, you know, the whole NCAA experience. Right. I, uh, then, after graduation, I came back to Green Bay, and there really wasn't a lot of opportunities for me and a lot of my friends who went to college. So, one by one, we left, and uh, I moved to Washington, D.C., where I uh, got a job at Georgetown University. Uh, I worked in the registrar's office and helped with the computer conversion process. They used to have the batch computer systems, which is archaic compared to uh, what we have now. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I helped uh, at the main campus, I was promoted to the law center registrar's office on Capitol Hill. And I helped them with their uh, computer conversion. And I learned a lot of things, met a lot of people. and. Um, I, after that, I came back to Green Bay to, to try to remember why I even left in the first place. So what was the trigger that made you decide you wanted to run for mayor? Um, well, there's a lot of things. You know, being, um, being uh, interested in sociology, um, I'm always looking at people, seeing what their needs are. And um, uh, I like to play basketball. And um, I go to the parks. And uh, they've had the same um, layout at the parks for many years where um, they have a design and it's, it's been very stationary, just painted white lines. So I was, I've been going to the Parks Department asking them to paint the uh, basketball courts, you know, mm -hmm. just something, whether it's uh, a canvas and you paint a mural or paint uh, the lines or just make it more interesting. And then I, I was thinking, they, you know, they were s sort of uh, wary about it and they were against it at first and then they kind of came around. But th as far as I know, they still haven't done anything. and. Um, and I was thinking of other things like, you know, you could paint the uh, tennis courts. Um, we have a lot of, uh, we have hundreds of miles of gray fences. And I thought, you know, you could just as easily have colored fences. And um, uh, you could put, uh, they have, a lot of people have patio pavers in their backyard. And uh, some people can't afford that. Or if they rent, it's not possible. So I thought, well, we could fix up the parks and um, put, uh, like, um, American Ninja type uh, stuff in the parks so I was coming up with ideas and I've there's a lot of ideas that I've been thinking about and it seemed like a good idea when you have recreational needs in the city of Green Bay we also have one big need that's been talked about lately and that is our road conditions how do we fix our roads okay well it's kind of simple right now when we want the roads fixed we go, we're going to the people and trying to tax them we're taxing their wheels we're taxing the streets where the people build the roads what we need to do is um, find other sources of revenue you know like tourism um, you know, uh, Mayor Schmidt uh, brought in the uh, Zip and Pippin, and it, it made money, and it's, it's paid for itself, and it's paying for other things. If we bring to tourism in, instead of going to the people of Green Bay and asking for more money, tourism will bring in money, and uh, will be things like roads will be a, a, a minor factor. Right now, they're, they're replacing the roads at one percent. Um, of the roads per year, and, and usually like three percent is a better number to, um, to to make sure all the roads stay uh, healthy. Right. Uh, I know in J in Japan and other places in the world they have uh, different types of concrete, you know, that are made for um, things like uh, earthquakes, and you know, with uh, frost it really takes a toll on the roads. So maybe a better quality concrete um, uh, to help the roads last longer. And you'd go back to that one, uh, that the three percent instead of the one that we're at right now. We are going to continue with Paul Busher right after this, so please stay with us.